What's up, folks? We're coming to you on a new day. We're at a here. New time. Yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. It's the same time, just a different day. Okay. Well, it's the same. That's up to you. We have a new day. A new day. And there's reason behind it. Yeah, explain the reasons. But we're going to oh, be by releasing. Way, by the way. By the way, by the way. We're, we're good podcasters. We're good podcasters. I'm Andrew. I am Lewis. And this is Bass Now Radio presented by Sunrise Bass. Good Bassin. podcasting. In case you didn't see the title when you clicked on it, that's what it is. Right, it is. All right, so now go ahead. Tell the people what we're doing. Um, So it should be Wednesday that we, this is being released. You don't have to be listening to it on Wednesday. But it will be released on but Wednesday. But it will be released on Wednesday. Um, That is tomorrow. It is Tuesday night. We are releasing now on Wednesdays for the future to be seen. The, the to be seen. The to be seen the future. schedule. Yeah. Um, and the reason behind that is we're, we're thinking about the tournaments and what's going on, all the news, all the stuff that's we're going to be getting ready for and getting talked about. Excuse me. And all the major tournaments, for the most part, start on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, all our college tournaments start on usually Thursdays. Thursday. Um, With and here and usually, there Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. And usually everything is over from the previous weekend by Wednesday. So I, I just think it's a good all around good, good day good decision. Yeah. To let stuff out on Wednesdays. Um, we're able to do that. So we're going to, we're going to try and shoot for Wednesdays with our releases. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was a pretty good idea. That's pretty exciting. You know? Yeah. It's big, big change. Big change. Big, big change. change. Big change. Wednesday um, change. But yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff going on now. It's, we're we're kind of, a lot of stuff. Going I don't want to say now. we're in the thick of the season. But but it kind of just got thrust upon us. Yeah, it, it kind of like no starts fishing, fast, and then there was like a lot of fishing. Yeah, it gets going really quick, mostly um, in Florida. But I do, yeah, I don't <laughs> care about MLF. I don't know when their tournaments typically start and end. It doesn't matter because they're four I year just long know tournaments. They're at you fall. I know they're all year long a piece, so <laughs> it's irrelevant. We'll talk about you'll talk about them when they happen. I will not. Um, you're welcome for bringing your MLF news. Yes. Cause he won't. That's correct. Um, <laughs> so on that note, we have a bunch of stuff that's gone on in the last week. We have a bunch of stuff coming up in the next week. We got some exciting stuff going on. Yeah. So we got some exciting results to report. Yeah, definitely. Um, we got some, some history to report on. We got some, some upcoming stuff to report on. We have something we totally forgot to mention last week. Yes. And that is the passing of Forrest L. Wood. Uh, we're very sad to hear about that in the fishing world. He was a pioneer of this sport. Kind of got a pioneer, really a pioneer in the in the bass boating world. He fished yeah. a bunch of tournaments as well, qualified for a couple of classics. Um, but a lot of the things you come to know and love about your boat would not be there if it wasn't for him. Yeah, he was, uh, um, was a big part of bass fishing. Ranger boats were ran for the first, like, 20 or 30 classics only. Everybody ran a Ranger. Um, so, it's definitely a sad passing. Um, and it's cool to see all the stuff that's come out about his life now. Um, he was really, really huge. We've lost two giants in the sport in the last yeah. few months. Um, but such is life. And uh, interesting stuff going on with FLW to keep it going. The namesake trail. The namesake trail. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. FLW pros were at San Rayburg. They were. Did we talk about that? We did last episode. Okay. We did. I was, just, I, was just thinking, I was just thinking about what FLW events. Well, There's there was. The, a, uh, the, okay, I'm sorry. Is it? It's not Costa anymore. No. It's Toyota. I think it's the Toyota. Tackle Warehouse. The Tackle Warehouse. Bass is the Pro Shops. Tackle Warehouse. Tackle Warehouse is the Pro Series, and Toyota is is the what was the Costa Series, okay. because I remember it being announced during practice. Okay, the second day of practice they announced it. Um, and speaking of such series, there was an event held by that series on Toledo Bend. Yes, last weekend, and uh, just the the well, we said it. When Cody Huff won the bracket that we yeah. thought he could do something with the win. Right. 
And he is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really amazing run. He's out he's here fishing on. opens, it's college events. An unreal run. Toyota, previously Costa events. I know he <laughs> finished top 100, maybe top 75 in the open. He won the college event on Toledo. He won the FLW whatever series on Toledo. The kid's on a roll. Yeah. Dude's on a roll. Where are we going to stop him? I wonder if he's going to fish Seminole. I wonder. That's a good question. I don't, not. I don't know. Um, he's fished three weeks in a row. Yeah. I, we were talking I, about that. I, I don't know where. still going to college. I really don't know where school comes in here um, at <laughs> I, all. I don't really know how it works. If you go to Bethel, please call in sometime. At this point. I would love to yeah. know how you get out of so many at classes. This point, I'm we, not, we need to know, learn from you guys how yeah. to get that. At this point, I'm not even jealous. I'm just impressed. Not, not even, I mean, I'm impressed from the fishing, obviously, but more so just from how, how do you do it? Yeah. How do they do it? I don't know. I don't know either. But hey, he, he just paid for a year of college in one tournament. So I guess he's good. I guess. <laughs> Maybe he's paying um, off his professors. I think we might have, yeah, yeah. We might have said it last week. this test. <laughs> but I mean, he must have found that school. And just sat on it. And known what it was. And said, this is going to be a $60,000 school of fish. And, and that's I'm exactly gonna, what it was. I'm going to stay right here and fish it. For the next week and a half. <laughs> and he did. And he won. And two tournaments, two giant tournaments. I mean, I wouldn't say that the competition level on the college series is whatever the competition level is on the semi-pro FLW. But it, I could tell you it's damn close. Yeah. The boys are good. It took the same weight to win both tournaments. So that's uh, really impressive stuff. Really, really impressive. That's stuff. something else. Yes, it is. I'm excited to see what he does really at, at, at Gunnersville. Yeah, the classic is going to be. I, I'm very excited to see how that goes. Because there's there's no opens before the classic, right? I'm looking right now. Um, I don't think there is no. There are no opens. No. There's the college series on Smith Lake, though. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Oh, you know what we're not mentioning. A bass tournament that went on on Okeechobee. Oh, I was going to get to that. Yeah. That's why I said we have exciting news. We d Oh, then bring it to the people. Our, our previous. Bring it to the people. awesome and sorry, he's definitely one of our favorite guests we've had on the show. Oh, yeah. From one of our favorite episodes. From one of, actually, my personal yeah, favorite. Yeah, I was going to say, I probably my episode. favorite episode. Um, from, from Hartwell, the Hartwell episode, uh, Tyler Lowell. Our buddy. Our buddy fished for UNC Charlotte. He went and finished third place on the uh, non-boater side yeah. of the TNT, Bass Nation Southeastern Regional. I'm, and, I'm, uh, I'm lining it up for him, folks. Um, yeah. Awesome tournament for Tyler. Congratulations to our buddy. Good job, buddy. Um, we'll have to have you on to talk about it. Yeah, point. no, definitely, definitely. Um, it seemed like it was. It, it wasn't that bad of a tournament. Um, the guys caught him pretty good. I'm um, gonna peek at the standings real quick because I don't Robertson have him up. Win it. Matthew Robertson did win it. The one and only. Guys, a stick. The one and only. <laughs> I, don't wears, how, I don't know how he does it every year. He goes out and does really well in these things. He, his hat doesn't lie. No, on him. <laughs> He's on him. He's on him. <laughs> Always. Uh, Matt Robertson won the tournament with almost 60 pounds, 59-14. Um, it seemed like about 45 filled out the top 10. So definitely tough. For the first, it looks like three or four guys caught him pretty good. They all had near 60 pounds. Um, but, yeah, it seemed like a pretty good tournament. I mean, guys, I mean, for the nation guys to be catching the way they did, um, not, you know, that they're not good fishermen, but they, they seem to catch them pretty good. Yeah. On on and most places in Florida have been pretty tough this year. So yeah, it's definitely the weather, impressive. The weather's to see. so all over yeah, the place. Yeah, the weather's been terrible. Um and then on the non boater side. Let's see here. Uh James Top Miller won with thirty six pounds for three days, which is really impressive for three fish limits. Yeah. Say that again. Um Was he the guy that had like eighteen pounds or something? No, that was Zeke of Beg. He had 18 pounds for three <laughs> on the second day. I remember that. Um, Heck yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Tyler, man, came in third. We're proud of you. We're happy for you. He's going to be heading out to the uh, the Bass the Nation National, the championship. At Pickwick. Yeah. And um, 
He'll have a shot. Tyler, Tyler's got experience on Pickwick too. Yeah, so. he'll have a shot to sneak in and uh, maybe make the classic, which would be absolutely awesome. Um, but that was the first regional for the Bass Nation of the year. Yep. And the regionals qualify you for the championship, which could qualify you for the classic. So we're really excited to see what goes on. That's There's a lot more tournaments to be held. Um there's a bunch of regions. There's Southern, there's Midwest, there's West, West Northern. Northern, yeah. Um, but that was awesome. I want awesome to put Northern on Sebago again. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny that to watch. That was hysterical. <laughs> Somebody caught a freaking eight. I'll never forget that. Um, uh, but, yeah, that's uh, that's that's awesome. It's been an awesome exciting week. Show, buddy. Yeah. It's been an exciting week. A lot of cool stuff happening with, uh, with Cody, uh, with her buddy, with... What else is going on? Matt Robertson on him. On him. I got other exciting news. What do you got? My boat may be Your fixed. boat's working. My, mo- my boat may be working. What's been going on with your boat? Tell oh, the just people. Just a lot of things. Tell the people. A lot of things. Uh, fun fact, when you buy a boat, it breaks. Just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible idea. It just breaks. <laughs> uh, let's see. First off, uh, my steering has been leaking since Hartwell. Yep. That's correct. Many months ago. Yep. Uh, and then... You waited till... When? Not till now to fix it. Uh-huh. I've just been adding steering fluid to it. Uh-huh. Just a progressive stream of steering fluid coming uh-huh. out the side of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but that's fixed as of today. Yep. Uh, Love it. And then in the end of November, uh, we were running down James for a high school tournament, and uh, my engine cut out. Yep. Thought it was out of gas. Thought it was a fuel pump. Then it was then then it was the fuel pump, but then I was like thought it was an injector, and then I thought maybe it was an air injector because I had fuel pressure, but it just turns out I didn't have enough fuel pressure. Right. So, I think I fixed it, put a new fuel pump in today. She started right up. So so fingers crossed. Why were we in such a hustle? I'm in such a hustle to get it fixed because why? I have to go fish an FLW event on Lake Seminole. Yes. On Friday. Let's hear about it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you, what do you, what do we into? <laughs> got any ideas for what you're well, going to do going into the day? I was really excited because I thought it was going to stay warm. Yeah. And then about five minutes ago, scratch that. Let's see. We've been recording for 14 minutes. So 20 minutes ago, old Lewis had to crush my dreams of throwing a frog on Seminole. Yep. With the news that it was going to be 55 Some degrees. Really crappy weather. <laughs> or 53 degrees. Something 55, like that. 55, yeah. Like 10, and a, 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it is today and tomorrow. Yeah. And on top of that, Thursday, my one lone day of practice, it kind of looks like a hurricane's going to hit. Yep. So I guess I'm just going to fish it. Yeah. And you guys that are <laughs> down there right now for that that that, that tournament practice, and I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not there. Kind of, kind of seems like if I every, signed up, I don't, I know I'm not even surprised. That's just how it goes for college tournaments. Yeah. Look at Toledo. If it was me <laughs> and I signed up to fish this tournament, I would not practice. Well, yeah, because whatever you find out is going to be completely different the next. And day. because I know what I know. Oh yeah, it's I know. Work. I know what I know. What we know is going to work. Yeah, and let's just watch just, your YouTube video now. <laughs> but I'm private for a couple of days. Yeah. Um, There's a certain spot that should line up pretty well. Pretty well. It should line up should, really should well. well. Like better than it did, and, and uh, I'm excited for you, and I'm jealous. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I, I'm excited to fish it, um, mainly because I haven't fished <laughs> in like two months. Yeah, you're gonna be wiping some rust off. You maybe ought to practice. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna throw up first cast of the day. No practice. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll sit in the hotel and just flip into a cup. There you go. I like that. Because I've probably forgotten how to cast at this I point. I like that. No, I don't even remember how to do it. You, put, like you put your thumb on the bail. Right? You do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or you put your tongue on it. You could do that. I don't, I don't remember how it works. You could do that. <laughs> you tie a shoelace knot, right? Yeah. Like, to hold the lures Correct. on. Correct. Okay, good. Good. Glad, glad, glad we got that. Yeah. Yeah. So Pink is the best color. <laughs> yeah, Pink should, and chartreuse. Uh, it should take, what, 13, 14 pounds usually to qualify? It took that, dang that near 16 does? last year. To qualify? It to did. Win. To qualify. It took like. 23 to win and dang near 16 to qualify i think you're right yeah because we thought we were in pretty good shape and then we weren't and then we weren't yeah <laughs> well we have like 13 and a half we had, no we had 12 like 12 and a half 12 and a half yeah 
You thought we had like 10. And I'm like, nah, I think we got more. I than always that. guess low. Yeah, you did. I'm a sandbag. I know. Nah, I think we were like 13 and it was like 12 and a half. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the Seminoles going to be interesting. It's going to be a complete weather change and they're kind of Florida bass. So they're not going to act well Mm-mm. to the temperature change. Mm-mm. <laughs> but once then, that's just how it goes for college tournaments. Yeah, so that's the first FLW college tournament of the year. The next one will be the Natty. Um, and then it picks up. I don't, I, don't, I don't know anyone that's going to fish the natty. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> um, I don't just book a hotel room for them or anything. The Toyota series starts up. It's actually, they go back to the St. John's a week. So we'll talk about that another time. What else we got lined up here? You'd think we'd have notes. You'd be wrong. We used to have notes, but then by episode 20, we're just like, Ah, we'll wing it. There have been a bunch of BFLs that you can always... I mean, there's always a bunch of BFLs. I saw some really good bags at Lanier last weekend. Yeah. Uh, really I think good. it took like 19 to win that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, there's a, there's a big turn we have yet to talk about that I am pre- it, very, very excited for. Yeah, I know you are. Very excited. Before we get into that... um. The whole reason that we even started talking about switching it to Wednesday was for this reason. Correct. So we should probably talk about it. Correct. Uh, anyone that wants to join, we have started a fantasy league for We Bass talked about Master. it, and then we did it. Yeah, and then we did it. Rare that we talk about things and then do them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now we're talking about them again. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's called Bass Now Radio. You can find it on the Bassmaster Fantasy site. You can search it. Um, it's also... The group should be linked to my Instagram now. It's hopefully. literally just Bass Now Radio. That's yeah, it. it's just Bass Now Radio. Andrew, why do people want to join? Why our do you want to join this? Why? Group? Why do well, I want to join? There's a fabulous prize at the end. If you win the league, not every week because I'm poor. Yeah. If you win the league, we're gonna give away a fishing rod. <gasps> For me, say it ain't so. I can win a rod. You can win a <gasps> rod, and I bet you it's probably be a nicer rod For than free? anything you own. For free? For free. What, there's got to be an entry For fee. Free. What's the entry fee? Just joining. No way. Way. What? Totally. What? Bad. But yeah, you should join. Uh, you it's know gonna what? It's going to be fun. We got like 15 people in it right now, so your odds are pretty good that you could win a yeah. rod. It's not like you, you should join in. You it's really not like should. you're up against thousands of people. And uh, I may or may not, uh, I may or may not be offering a second place prize package of my own. Oh, really? Yeah. Since wow. you're rich, you can offer the first place pi- prize of a rod. And the second place. I'm yeah. poor. So yeah. you get a yeah, you're second doing place. What, like a box of munchkins, maybe no. a sign signed by us. It might be something from a certain company that we're friends with. That we're friends with. Yeah. Signed. Yeah, it'll, it'll be signed by me. And then if you're part of the, uh, the UNC. Third place. If, if you're part of the UNC Charlotte team, uh, if you win, you win a pink Senko signed by us. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> so the small group of UNC Charlotte guys that's in this group will win a signed pink Sanko. Yes, in a shadow both box. Of us. We'll, we'll put it in a shadow box for you, so it's all. Uh, all I don't know if we got that wall. kind of money. Oh, I'll spend, I'll like spend the money to put Sanko there we go. in a shadow box. You there we go. Me? That's hilarious. There we go. So, guys, definitely jump on in that. Um, some we we'll got some cool prizes. It'll be fun, um, and it, it's free. So. Yeah. Why not? All you got to do and is sign like, up. I mean, like, you could hop into Tackle Warehouses, and they're giving away a whole bunch of free crap. But the other thing about Tackle Warehouses is, and I'm going to check this now. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun. There are 5,300 members in Tackle Warehouses group. 5,300. Compared to 15. Hold on. I don't even know if we got that. What do we got right now? This number should grow. You guys really should hop in on this. Yes, please hop in. We'd love to have you. We have 13 members. 13. Wow, someone actually dropped. You have a 1 in 13 chance in winning. Yeah. Well, 14 if, if you join. So. And if you, you finish, probably if, I, if I win and you finish in second, you get the rod. No, I think if you win, screw them. I'm not going to gift the rod to myself. I don't need another No, rod. I think you just say screw them. Just keep the money. I'm nice. Uh, well, I'd say screw them. <laughs> If I come in second place, nobody's getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's getting nothing. Nobody's getting nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. You know what? Maybe I'll just pick up all the used biz baits off the floor of my boat 
and put them in a Ziploc and I'll uh, send them send to them you. to someone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you're joining the Fantasy League, uh, you better join soon because there's a tournament coming up very yes, soon. Yes, and we're going to post some more. We should throw up a post on the Facebook, yeah, the Instagram. There'll be, a, there'll be a post everywhere. Yeah, every every place. Everywhere. Um. So the reason why we're getting this going... St. The reason John's why we have River. this, we have the St. John's River Elite Series event, the AFCO Bassmaster Elite Series at the St. John's River. Let it be known that when I was at the St. John's River, it was not good, <laughs> and it's apparently gooder, just better since I left. Um, this tournament starts on Thursday, so for you listening on Wednesday, it starts tomorrow. Yes. For you listening on Thursday. It started that day. You should be watching today. live. For you listening on Friday, you're really late. And, and if you're you after that. You should go back and watch day one way. You should probably just wait till next Wednesday's episode. <laughs> <laughs> to learn the results. Um, <laughs> then we can talk about what happened there. <laughs> um, but that's going to be a really cool event. It's uh, I'm, I'm just so excited for the Elite Series to kick off. Um, I miss it. I feel like the season has started, but it hasn't really started. The elite series Not started. Until the elite start. That's when it starts. That's you got when, the live coverage. That's when it's official. The elite series live coverage. You hear Tommy Sanders and Ronnie Moore and Mike Such and Mark Zona and all them boys. I miss that. Man. I'm so excited. I miss that. So I'm, I am so psyched for this event. This is like me. When like NASCAR starts up again, yeah, yeah, let's get hyped. I'm this is, <laughs> I, I I almost want to say equal. It's not quite equal to opening day of baseball season for me, um, but it's almost there. It's almost there. Still a baseball fan of heart. Yeah, I am. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> like the classic supersedes all sporting events. <laughs> opening day of baseball is special. That should be a national holiday. But opening day of the Elite Series is pretty exciting, especially when you think about everything that's gone on in the last few months, how the Elite Series ended last year with Carl Jockamson and Fighter and all that. Um, now that we kind of know some of the faces that we didn't know, um, it's, I'm, it's a great... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with a question out of left field. Okay. Because it better not deflate my excitement. Thought, no, no, this this should hype you up even more. Okay, great. Um, because it would have been a great episode, so we're just going to extend this episode. Oh, okay. Who's your pick? Who's my pick to win Angle of the Year? Great question. Going into the season. Great question. We'll write it down and we'll see who's right. Um, who do I want to? Who do I think? Well, two names. Give me, give me two names. I'll give you a want to and a think. Okay. I want to see Swindle win a third. That would make my everything. I was going to say, I want to see Swindle win. I think he's going to rock it this year. I really want to see him win a classic. We're going to have to wait for that. I hope he does. He's been trying for a long time. Honestly, I just want to see him win a tournament. (laughs) I want to see Gerald Swindle win a tournament. Besides the point, who's going to win? I'm going to click on the elite field. I have a name in mind. I might pull a wild name out. Hold on. My my name is not that wild. Give me who's your want first while I'm doing this. I think that Mr. Second Place is finally going to win some stuff. I'd like to see that. Win the angle of the year. I'd like to see that. Chris (laughs) Zellain. I'd like to see it. I really, I mean, I love that guy. That would be awesome. Um, I think that he's going to continue on his, his role from last year and get it done. So I like it. I'm excited for our classic episodes, man. Tell the people about what we got in mind for the classic. So for the classic, coming up soon, um, we will be hanging around the expo for, well, I'll be there Friday, Saturday, and you can find this lovely gentleman there Sunday without me, uh, but we'll be there together Friday, Saturday, and uh, we're going to be recording episodes on both nights of the classic Mm -hmm. from our little home studio at an Airbnb. <laughs> we can, we're, we're looking very much forward to it. Yes. I can't wait. I it's mean, whoever blast. wants to hop in, come on over to the place. You're welcome, man. Welcome to, to, to record with us. It's going to um, be awesome. Yeah. And if you see us at the Classic, say hi. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll record some stuff. We'll go to the main channel afterwards. It'll be a good time. Main channel. <laughs> Who do Title I know? sponsor of the UNC Charlotte Basketball That's right. Club. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> main channel brewery. I've got a weird thing this year. What do you got? I've got a weird name that c- continues to pop in my head. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's a weird thing. Something's telling. It's a my my hunch. My dark horse yeah, hunch. Yeah, tournament loose sentences of tingling. Yes. Clifford Perch. Really? I think Cliff Perch. That's, that's an interesting pick. Yes. <laughs> Would not expect you to say that. Cliff Perch, Arizona boy, or wherever he's from, somewhere in the Midwest, I think you can get it done. But, I mean, that's my weird pick. Um, my educated pick. Edumacated. Edumacated. Give me... Give me Keith Combs to finally get it done. No. No, I lied. I don't know. This is tough. That's such a tough, tough ask. I think it's going to be somebody in this, whoever, somebody in this group who finished 10th to 20th in last year's AOI race. I mean, give me Bill Lowen. Give me Matt Airy. Give me Chris Johnson. Give me Keith Combs. Micah Frazier. Lee Livesey. Walters. Hartman. Shryock. Heron, Heron, I could see him winning it. Mullins, one of them names. I'm gonna pick that one of them names is gonna win it. And if I were to put my money somewhere, Keith Copes, <laughs> I guess so. It's a safe pick. It's a safe pick. I, I like bolder picks than that. But you heard my bold pick with Cliff Perch, so I gave you three names. I cheated. All right, so I need to give Swindle, you third one. Perch, Combs. I'll give you a third one. Go for it. I'm going to say I'll say Corey Johnson. Corey. Okay. He finished third last year. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm All shooting right. high. I think that the guys who are on a roll last year are going to continue, continue their Continue the hot streak. Yeah. I'm a, they're going to continue it. I think Corey. I, I, I like Corey this week. I'd love Florida. to see G's win the win. Yeah. Realistically, I think Chris or Corey. Okay. Have the best shots. All right. I like it. That's my picks. I like it. I'm excited for St. John's. It's going to be a really fun tournament. Um, hey, if Rick Clun wins again, that would be so cool. <laughs> that would be absolutely nah, crazy. He hasn't got it again. He can't He can't recreate the magic of almost breaking the century, Mike. He's done it twice. He can't do it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see. Lightning may strike twice, but not three times. All right. That's fair. I like it. I like it. Although I would like to see him win it. <laughs> uh, I think that'd be still why that would just, it would get at that point. It's officially weird. It's yeah. officially weird. At that point, the elite series goes, all right, we're not coming back here. Cause we just have a winner every time. Or they already, come back every time. Decided. You know, I don't know. Um, did you see this? Did, did you see? Well, we'll get to that another time. Um, <laughs> get to that another time. No, but look, I mean, it's going to be an interesting tournament. There might be some fish on the beds, maybe pre, a little post all over the place. I it mean, really depends on what that. Florida weather has been really weird. It depends on what that front does. Because yep. obviously it's going to drop it in Seminole, and that's on the Florida Georgia line. So right. Questions, was that dude down there? Yeah. St. John, St. John's can get cold. I know yeah. I was there when it was cold, and it sucked. Yeah. There's probably going to be some sight it was fishing. Terrible. <laughs> um, there's going to be some sight fishing, some pre-spawn, some post-spawn, some shallow, probably just shallow fishing. I don't see much offshore fishing playing, but it'll be it'll be cool. I'm excited to see. I, I'm just excited. I'm excited to hear Tommy Sanders open it up Thursday morning, baby. Thursday morning. Oh, whew. I know what you're going to be whoa. doing Thursday morning. Ah, whoa, excited. Um, but I want to go fishing this weekend. Oh, maybe we'll go to Lake Murray. I might go to Lake Murray. Don't know why, other than that I'll Trevor's be been telling me to go driving to Virginia. So what? I'll be driving to Virginia. Yeah, from Georgia. I might go to Lake <laughs> Murray on Saturday, just because. Just because. Just yeah. Fun. Um, what else might I do? Maybe I'll go to Norman tomorrow on Thursday or Friday. But that's uh, that's it. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it's an we're exciting excited week. to bring you the recap for St. John's and Seminole. Yes, yeah, we got a first-hand experience from Seminole. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, a win. Hopefully, a win. 
Hopefully you qualify. Hopefully you qualify. You gotta qualify, buddy. I would love to qualify. Is this why this hat's being worn? Yeah. Mm. Let's see it. I'm here for it. Gotta make it. Gotta win that. Say hi to Kevin for me. Tell him I'm excited to see him. I will. I'm sure he's excited to see you too, man. I bet he is. I bet he is. I'm sure they're gonna enjoy the drive down the Harris. Harris. You're right. I, I've been messing up the chains of lakes in Florida recently. There's a lot of them. I can't, I can't keep them straight. There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, All right, folks. Well, well join the league. Yes, join the group. Bass Now Radio on Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing. Yep. Get in there. Win a fishing rod. Yep. Kick our butts in fantasy. Nope. Or we'll kick your butts. Depends yep. on which way it goes. Yeah. If you like the podcast, tell a friend. Like, share. Like, share, comment, and tell a friend. Review. If you... if you Tell your buddy. Say, hey. If you tell a buddy about it, you may get a better shot at winning Bassmaster That's right. Fantasy League. That's right. May. That's right. You might not. You might not, but you may. Right. So it's worth a shot. Tell your buddy or your buddy comes up to you and says, hey, I already listened to Luke Duncan's podcast and Bass Talk Live and Ike Live and... Yeah, I just really need something to listen to. I'm going to drive home. Say, hey, these two idiots in Charlotte making a fishing podcast. Tune in. They got terrible insight. <laughs> they don't know how to fish, but they're idiots. So you should tune in. You should tune in and listen to them talk. Yeah. They really don't know that much. <laughs> it's a good group. One of them can fish. The other one can run a camera, and that's about all we got. That's all we got. <laughs> I can't even fish that good. <laughs> So oh, yeah, yeah. on that note, on that note, tight lines. Uh, we'll see you next week. All right, and uh, peace out. Bye.